Hello guys, I hope you're doing amazing. Um, from my uni, like from a little project, it emerged that some girls and I are meeting like every two to three weeks and just kind of talking about um, how we are, how our energy is and like we always answer some questions and today a girl shared that she always puts a lot of pressure about having to eat healthy and if she doesn't then she really feels very guilty and like she goes or tries to go to the gym every morning and blah 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 and I was like <laughs> that's not good <laughs> and then everyone else was like no oh my god I wish I was like that and like don't try to change yourself it's great you're eating healthy and stuff and I understand that they felt like that but I was like my alarm bells were going off <laughs> because that just demonstrated to me how society thinks people are always like oh if you're trying to be healthy what's the problem about that and they don't realize that when it goes to the extreme that you really have a lot of pressure on yourself to always eat healthy always this and that that it really can get very very damaging and very stressful as well like it puts so much stress on yourself to always having to eat exactly like that and yeah that was yeah I told her kind of my basic method to improve that I didn't tell her about like following extreme hunger and stuff because I don't think she's not eating enough I just think she's kind of at the start and if she keeps going like that it will get very difficult um, I don't know too much about her situation to be honest, so I cannot evaluate it. But yeah, so I told her that I would suggest <laughs> that every single time she kind of brainwashes herself into thinking that it's fine. Um, that really worked for me as well. I mean, it's just this um, rewiring of your brain basically that you start truly believing that it's fine and it is. But you, like you yourself, have to believe it. Otherwise, it, it doesn't help you. If <laughs> yeah, so yeah, and I think she found it helpful. And I was a little annoyed that everyone else felt like it was not a problem, um, and that it's good that she's always trying to be so healthy. And yeah, it just demonstrates that people still don't really have awareness about EDs and. Even if it's not an ED, it's like a little bit of a restrictive eating type and a bit of a disordered eating, but that alone is a problem and it really sucks and people struggle with it. And yet, because so many people are folk or like our society preaches healthy eating so much that people don't see why this could ever be a problem, you know. So yeah, I just wanted to share that today I saw it again, that it really is kind of a problem um, and yeah, something that we have to work on for sure as a society <laughs> yeah, that was one thought I had and then I want to go into a, a little bit more about what if you're in that situation now, like you don't think you have a full-on ED but still you feel kind of guilty when you're eating some chocolate or she said she's feeling guilty when she eats chocolate or fast food even though that's not often the case it's yeah and for that I would say that honestly it is a problem enough you should really feel free whenever like personally I find freedom the most beautiful thing when I can really decide when I want to eat what, like I can go to the supermarket and whatever I crave, I can buy it and I don't feel bad about it. I think that's the most beautiful thing in life and you shouldn't strive for anything else other than that. Um, so yeah, that is kind of where I think already when you don't feel free to eat whatever you want, that is already a problem. And I understand, like I myself like to eat healthy. I know maybe that's surprising to some people, but I do like my veggies and I do like, I love, I 
probably a lot of people wouldn't say I eat healthy because I eat a lot of sweet stuff as well but I do like my balanced meals and I just grew up with quite a lot of veggies so I love eating veggies it's not I just like the taste of it you know um, but still it's you cannot live a relaxed life if you don't feel comfortable eating whatever um, and so yeah I don't know what, what did I want to say I do understand when people are like, kind of like scared that once you allow yourself to eat whatever that you won't eat healthy foods anymore but I do think it happens especially at the beginning but then at some point your body just knows you can eat whatever and then you start to truly listen to what you want to eat and then it gets very intuitive and your body wants to eat veggie it wants to eat carbs it wants to eat proteins it wants to, like the whole mix <laughs> and naturally like for example my boyfriend he's the most intuitive eater i've ever met and he always tells me like when he's to a restaurant and he loves to order um, fries with schnitzel like the fried uh, meat like the german one i don't know how it's called in english i think there is no word and he says like he finds it so boring if it's only that and there's no veggies on the plate so even him as like someone who really doesn't care he just loves kind of the variety he finds it much more nourishing if there is like the third party so that just shows that you can be like most people that are intuitive eaters they also eat veggies and they also you know they find the balance because in the end they listen to their body so well that their body has them what they it cra craves <laughs> you know so that's kind of my input for today that you really once you're trying to eat healthy and it's healthy is not for you intuitive then it's a problem <laughs> really um whenever you overthink your food it's a problem in my opinion but also other people have other opinions than me so but yeah that was just my five cents to the topic and i was a little annoyed that people were kind of telling her that she shouldn't think it's a bad thing but actually it's a good thing and i was like no <laughs> it's not a good thing but yeah anyway i hope my little talking brabbling made kind of sense and yeah just keep on working towards feeling free in whatever you eat and really being intuitive and if intuitive means just a bowl of pasta and cheese that's intuitive that's what your body needs if you're intuitive like <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't even have to be intuitive for example i'm waiting on my boyfriend to wake up because i'm already hungry i ate some chocolate for breakfast and that's not because i was craving chocolate so much it's just because i had some hunger and i didn't want to prepare any breakfast because i'm lazy and i want to wait on him for the extra breakfast and it's also fine it's not always about intuition it's sometimes also about convenience and whatever just follow kind of your thoughts and your cravings and don't overthink it yeah that's my thoughts for today and i hope you have a lovely weekend